since the first time I used Procreate to do animation. I could tell my needs for animation were a lot more than it had to offer. Limited frames to do animation with barely any room for cleanup or color. The lack of a proper line stabilizer made it more painful to use until they finally added it in 5.2. Procreate's good for rough animation, but it's not good for anything else animation, unfortunately. By that, I mean people can't make a finished product with it. Now that we have Procreate Dreams, did it finally fix the problems the animation features have? Is it better than my favorite app, Toon Squid? No, it isn't. And I'm gonna tell you why. Before I do, though, let me be clear. While I have some complaints with Procreate Dreams, I'm not gonna be asking for my money back. Because there are some good things in it. Firstly, performance mode. When you need your animation to move a certain way with a certain timing and spacing, and you need to figure that out immediately, performance mode can be a real time saver. Secondly, it's currently the only animation app that I know of that has effects such as Gaussian Blur, and you can animate those effects. Third, and this is a big third that Toon Squid needs to adopt eventually, you can animate warping and distort modes. Fourth, I believe that Procreate Dreams will eventually become a lot more than what it currently is, even in its bare bones state. With that said, some of you may think that my review of Procreate Dreams is going to be a savage one, but then again, the company who made it is called Savage Interactive. Remember when I said iArtBook was like Procreate, but with better animation tools? Well, this is like iArtBook, but much more bare bones, with all the important features removed in exchange for performance mode. For one thing, it doesn't have the shape creation mode. So when you go to make a circle by holding down the Apple Pencil, it does nothing. Speaking of Apple Pencil, the double tap feature and hover mode aren't present here. And while I don't have an iPad that has Apple Pencil hover, I could only imagine how much of a pain it is for people who rely on it. One of the most basic necessities for any animation program is the ability to edit your drawings with a selection tool. And somehow, Savage Interactive neglected to add it to Procreate Dreams. Also, Calipeg, Toon Squid, and even Rough Animator all have an app peg mode for Onion Skin. And Procreate Dreams, while having just come out, doesn't even have it. Speaking of Onion Skin, you're limited to 4 sheets per side, which is the same as Rough Animator. But Toon Squid has 5, and Calipeg has 8. Did Savage Interactive pay any attention to the other animation apps when they made Procreate Dreams? Remember how I said line stabilization not being in Procreate was a real pain? Well, they went and recreated that pain in Procreate Dreams. And even worse, they don't allow you to edit brushes within Procreate Dreams. You have to own Procreate in order to customize those brushes. Not only that, you don't even have Draw Assist, Grids, or any of the other great things Procreate has. I know I said Procreate Dreams was like a bare bones version of iArtBook, but it's also like a more expensive version of Toon Squid, and Toon Squid has way better features. I say this because in each track, tracks are what animation layers are in Procreate Dreams. You can have layers, so you can do rough animation, then line art, then color, then whatever else you need to do, and it's all contained in one track. Toon Squid is the exact same way, except you can set layers as fill references, make clipping masks, etc., but not in Procreate Dreams. Well, you can make clipping masks in Procreate Dreams, just not in the same way as Toon Squid within the tracks. While we're comparing Dreams to Toon Squid, let me mention that when you create a project, it prompts you to select either Draw or Empty. I looked at both, and I can confirm that this is the app's version of Toon Squid's traditional and keyframing workflow selections. Also, there's no camera feature, which means to create camera movement, you have to move everything on stage. Speaking of camera, you're limited to only 5 canvas sizes. You can't make custom canvas sizes like in Procreate. With all that said, how the heck did Aaron Blaze manage to create his short in Procreate Dreams within a month mostly by himself? You know what the saddest part about this is? Procreate Dreams was developed by a whole team. Toon Squid was developed by one guy. Procreate Dreams costs $20, Toon Squid only costs half that amount, and it has vector brushes, the brushes that will help you make your animations timeless in quality. Maybe one day this software will be the one everyone dreams about, but for right now, they should have called it Procreate Nightmares. 
because this software is a nightmare to use coming from Toon Squid. And when I say Calipeg is better than Procreate Dreams, then you know we have a problem. I might re-review Procreate Dreams once the app gets its act together and actually tries to one-up the competition. But for now, save your money. Get Toon Squid. It's amazing. <laughs>